Hi, this is Sean with OMU Energy, and today we're gonna to show you how to swap the 12 volt battery in your Ford F-150 Lightning. These trucks are freaking awesome. Uh, we've had, or I've had the Rivian personally for about a year, and then I've spent a lot of time with the Lightning now, and I, have, I, I like them both very much in different ways. The Lightning is a little bigger, it's more like a normal truck, so to speak, and so, Standard stuff fits it better. Um, the bed is bigger. Just overall, everything about it is a little bit more spacious and useful in the utilitarian sense. Uh, but the Rivian is more fun. The Rivian's quicker. The Rivian is better off-roading. Um, but these are these are totally capable, and they're also very quick. So it's it's a, it's a it's a tough judgment to go between them. Uh, if you've got a family. This is probably the better vehicle. If you're if you're looking for a more fun vehicle, I, I like I think the Rivian's better, but they're both awesome. And today we're focused on the F-150 Lightning behind me, and what we're doing is swapping the 12 volt battery to lithium. And actually, this truck already has one because we've been running the lithium 12 volt OMU battery in this truck for months now. Uh, so today we're actually just going to deinstalling the lithium battery and then putting it right back in just as a demonstration to make sure that we can show everybody how to do it. Uh, it's very easy on these vehicles, which is awesome. So kudos to Ford for that because it's got to be the easiest 12 volt battery swap uh, around in the electric vehicle world. Um, probably in a car, there'd be one less step if it weren't electric because you wouldn't have a frunk. That step being just opening that door right there. Basically, that, that panel right there in the center, you just open that up and the 12 volt battery is right there. There's one bolt that secures a bracket to hold it down, and then the two turn the two lugs, that's it. It's the best one so far. This should be a quick, uh, quick swap, and uh, it's a very good vehicle to upgrade to the OMU lithium battery too. Uh, you're gonna get a lot longer lifespan out of it, which is awesome, even though the swaps are easy, it's still nice to not have to do it very often. And the weight savings is great. I mean, the truck's heavy, uh, so each, each little bit of weight may not matter that much, but every little bit does help when it comes to range and efficiency. So those are, those are good points. I mean, it's about a third of the weight uh, of, of the lead battery. So the, the lithium battery that we're, gonna, that we're using in it, this, is about a third of the weight of the OEM battery. So that's awesome. It's more sustainable because you're using less material and there's less material waste and less uh, uh, batteries because you're consuming one battery for every three or four batteries of the lead because it lasts way, way longer. So this lithium battery should give this truck a 10 year 12 volt battery lifespan potentially. And that's really great. Um, especially in something like a truck where you want ultimate reliability and uh, usefulness and it's just, you're gonna, you're gonna use it, be out there and take adventures in it and uh, go camping and not have to worry about things like whether your 12 volt battery's in good shape. The other awesome thing with the newer OMU batteries and all of the OMU batteries for the Lightning is the Bluetooth technology that is now embedded. So you can use the OMU app and access the battery, the 12 volt battery anytime you're around the the vehicle and you can check in on things like the temperature of the 12 volt battery or the voltage, what it's doing at the time, if it's discharging, if it's charging. So you get a good sense of its health and how it's being used by your truck. And so that's really cool. The, the app is just OMU, O-H-M-M-U, and uh, it's available on iOS and on Android. Um, so check that out. So with this install, we're just gonna need two super simple tools, um, or really one tool, socket wrench, and the sockets for it, eight millimeter and 10 millimeter. The eight millimeter is gonna take off the bracket, the 10 millimeter is gonna take off the lugs. Safety, we're always mindful of safety. We're gonna use uh, some kind of rubber coated glove, just so you don't get potentially acid on your hands from the old lead acid battery, which can definitely leak. And unfortunately it leaked all over the inside of this car. And so there's some acid damage in the carpet now. Uh, lead acid batteries are horrible in many ways. That's just one of them. Um, so safety, gloves, and then a, safety glasses are a wonderful idea and you should definitely use them if you've got them. I would suggest keeping them on while you're doing 
the install. Um, the other thing to consider with your tool is getting some kind of insulated tool. This is not one, and this is a very in easy install, so it's not a huge deal uh, in this case, but it's a very good idea if you're doing 12 volt battery swaps to have an insulated tool, because the last thing you wanna do is create a short across the terminals of a battery with your tool, which is, in this case, one that is all metal and it would totally conduct electricity. So if you're working on the positive terminal and you bang the negative terminal, you've created a dead short across this tool and it could, uh, it could melt the edges or fuse them or just arc and give you a lot of sparks and, and generate heat. It can do all sorts of damage. Um, so avoid that at all costs. And if you take electrical tape, you can actually do three layers of electrical tape around the handle of your tools and that'll electrically insulate them too. Let's get to the install. All right, so first thing you do is just lift this panel up, pull it off. Then you've got your battery right here. First, we will uh, go ahead and just take the bracket off. So that's an eight millimeter socket. I guess the only struggle is the reach maybe, because if you're not a little bit tall, you might not as easily be able to reach this spot, but it shouldn't be that hard. Maybe just use a stool if you need to. So you just take the bolt off, the bolt out, remove the bracket, easy peasy. Now you will remove the terminals on the battery. Leave this in place. Make sure it's in place too, so that when you're removing the negative, the risk of arcing across the terminals is minimized by that protective rubber boot, as well as your gloves. So you get that loose and then wiggle and lift and it's off. Now the negative is disconnected. We can remove the positive terminal. Once it's loose, wiggle and lift, and it's off. I would keep the boot intact and just kind of lay them both up front like this. Also, don't let these touch each other while the vehicle is powered down. It shouldn't be energized, but this is an electric vehicle and it has a DC to DC converter. It can be totally silent and you don't know it. These could be energized from the larger battery and that would cause problems. So just leave them away from each other. Now that uh, they're off and the adapters or the brackets off, you can go ahead and bring the battery out. All right, let's reinstall it. Oh, I just wiped it up a little bit, it's the same battery. Um, it definitely gets dusty in there. Oh. Battery just goes in terminals closer to you. And then I would put the bracket in first. If you have a power tool, like a electric drill, you could use that, like a cordless drill. Just use it with a torque setting that isn't too high or aggressive. You don't want to over torque anything and break it. Um, so maybe just like a 50% torque setting on the on that. Now we will take the positive terminal first and install that. Get it down nice and low, and then tighten. There are two bolts here, so pay attention that you're tightening the correct one, and it would be the, the one up here on the side. Here is a critical risk point, because so you see how close the tool could potentially get to the negative terminal while I'm on the positive. So just be careful and make sure you don't let that happen. Uh, also, your new battery will come with caps on the terminals. So leave them in place until it's installed would be 
the best practice. Now that's tightened, put the cap back on and move to the negative. So when you make this connection, there could be little sparks because it's re-energizing the vehicle. You'll hear things click, you'll see lights come on. Tighten that up. And then bring your tool in and finish the job of tightening. Wiggle check, make sure it's secure. Close it up. Good to go. So the only thing you have to do after the install on the F-150 Lightning or anytime you lose 12 volt power is to manually close the front. The first time you push the front close button after the swap, it's just gonna beep at you. So just take the handle and just pull it down slow and then bring it all the way down, manually close it. Um, once you've done that once, then it'll go back to its normal operation, closing and opening. All right, so that's it for the install. One cool thing I'll show you quick is the Omu app. Right now, you can see this battery is discharging a little bit at about, what, two amps, uh, amp of discharge, and its charge rate is at about 50% charged. The voltage is 13.1 volts, and then you've got some other cool information like the balance of the cells and temperature sensor level, it's 89 degrees, and then the total power in or out of the battery right here, 15 watts. Uh, so check that out, that's Omu, O-H-M-U, the app. And that is it for the install. Uh, check us out at omu.com. If you have any questions or want to reach out to us, you can email us, support at omu.com, or go to our support page, support.omu.com. So that's it for today. Enjoy your vehicles and keep on rolling on.